What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we are checking out the brand new Porsche Taycan Turbo S. It's the first electric car in the game. So what we're going to do is a stage 5 shift tune, shift pattern in tune. A stage 6 shift pattern in tune. We're going to do a review on the car. We'll let you know if it can beat Tempest. We'll, uh, we'll even do a live racing setup if we can find one. So at the end... We'll let you know if it's going to be a good live racer and if there's a specific live racing setup or not. But first, let's go show you how to drive it and tune it if it's maxed out on stage 6. And then we'll do the same thing for stage 5. So maxed out when you have all the stage 6 and all the fusion parts. We've got the overboost all the way to the right. Since this is an electric car, we don't have a nitrous. We have an overboost. We got final drive all the way to the left at 2.0. And we got tire pressure at 26 PSI, and we got a 52 over a 48. And that's going to give us a dyno time of a 7.845. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to shift this when it's maxed out. All right, so we're going to try and get a perfect start. And then we're just going to go second, third, fourth, fifth, and hit the overboost. Pretty crazy, actually. Pretty crazy. All the rest of the shifts can be good or perfect. All right, so we want to let go of the gas right about number two to get a perfect start. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, nitrous. I mean, that's really about it. That's not nitrous. It's overboost, but we're just going to go ahead and call it the nitrous anyway. And then, you know, after we get into the first, first, fifth gear and hit our nitrous, then it's pretty much all good shifts after that. Then we got a 7.757. Um, every once in a while, I can hit like a 7. Six something but most of the time I'm hitting in the 7.7s if you get a dead perfect run yeah it's gonna do like 7.6 something and with a dyno of 7.845 it is beating dyno by a little bit which is pretty nice all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to stage five parts and tune it and then we're gonna show you the same thing but only on stage five with no stage six parts installed Okay, so on stage five, with all the fusions installed, we got the overboost all the way to the right. Final drive at 2.21, so that did change a little bit. Tire pressure at 26 PSI. All right, we got 52 and 48 up there. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to shift it. And we do have a dyno time of a uh, 9.842. 9.842 on the dyno. So we're basically going to drive it the same way, but we might want to shift into fifth gear just a little bit slower. All right, so let's do it like this. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, nitrous. And it's a very strange car, that's all I'm going to say. Good shift. Good shift. And that's all she wrote. Pretty easy for the most part. Can't complain too much. There we got a 9.824. I've actually hit 9.7 a couple of times, but how fast you shift in the fifth gear on this car definitely changes how fast it runs. So you might want to play with that a little bit. I've got a bunch of 9.7 and 9.8 runs, and we had a dyno of a what? 9.842. So stage five, it does beat dyno just a little bit. Stage six, it beats dyno by a little bit, which is pretty nice. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little review on this car. So first off, can this car beat Tempest? Yeah, if you get enough parts on this car, it's definitely going to be able to be able to beat Tempest 3, Tempest 2, and Tempest 1. All right, so maxed out, top speed of 456 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in like 1.5, 0 to 100 in about 1.9-ish. So yeah, pretty fast car, good acceleration, good top speed. Does a 7.6 when you max it out. Not bad, honestly. And we did find the live racing tune for it, guys. We have a live racing setup for this car, which we're going to show you guys in just a second. So it's an all-around decent car. A lot of people are saying it's trash, but it's got a good live racing setup. It does beat Dino by just a little bit. It's really not that bad of a car, and it is our first electric car, okay? It's okay. I mean, should you upgrade it? I don't know, if you don't have a good live racing car, you can upgrade this on a few like lower stage upgrades and it's going to be awesome for live racing. Um, it's going to be decently fast. It beats dyno. I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. Anyways, let's go check out that live racing setup. Overall, I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the motor, right? 
Set your motor to stock. Motor to stock. Battery, stage two. Inverter, stage two. Overboost, stage one. Body, stage two. Tires, stage five. Transmission, stage four. All right, so set your parts up just like that. You can refit them back. You don't have to remove them. Just refit them back to those stages and then use the tune I'm about to show you. And this thing will be awesome for live racing. Now with this current setup, we cannot tune the overboost or what would normally be the nitrous. All right, so that's not tunable. You don't even have to worry about that. We don't have a nitrous, basically. Final drive, 2.0. Tire pressure, 26 PSI. That gives us a dyno of a 12.157, and you can always adjust the transmission a little bit to get that into like the 12.2 lobby, which is probably your best bet to try and get as close to 12.2 as possible, which let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, this is one of those low performance point high Evo tunes, and I'm telling you, you don't want to beat dyno when live racing with this. We're going to get it as close to 12.2 as possible. All right, 12.199. So we got 2.17 to do that. Now we want to drive it so it gets as close to 12.2 as we can without running faster than 12.2. That way it always stays in the 12.2 lobby and doesn't get pushed into the faster and faster and faster lobbies. All right, so let's go and show you guys how to drive it like this. So live racing lobbies go by pretty much every two tenths of a second. That's why we're trying to go to 12.2 the next lobby would be at 12.4 so 12.2 to 12.199999 is one lobby so we want to be right at the bottom of the 12.2 lobby all right so we're basically going to launch then we're going to get get into third gear pretty quickly and then hit our nitrous so let go of the gas at two three two one go second third nitrous that's not nitrous it's overboost fourth gear fifth gear and we're getting like good or perfect shifts that's all we need to do six gear we really didn't need to go into six but we did now thing is there we got a 12.088 we are going much faster than our dyno time which means we need to slow down or change up our shift pattern like i said we do not want to beat the 12.2 dyno if we do the car is going to get pushed into faster and faster lobbies to where it's not able to win live races anymore because you don't want to be a, you don't want to get pushed into like the 12.0 lobbies, 11.9 lobbies, right? Let's try to shift this a little differently. Three, two, one, go. This time we're not even going to bother to hit the nitrous. We're going to do one early shift in the second and no nitrous. Let's see what that does. So sometimes you just got to play with these a little bit and try and figure out exactly how to get it to sh to run where you want it. And we want 12.2. There was a 12.118. So I don't care how you drive this. More than likely, it's going to beat the dyno time. And you're going to need to slow down before you cross the finish line. But yeah, that's nothing a quick little downshift or two right before you cross the finish line won't fix. That's all you got to do. Downshift, downshift. You know, just make sure the car you're racing is not going to beat you. And then do a couple downshifts right before you cross the finish line. And bam, you ran your... Uh, you ran your time on the point two, and you won the live race. So it should be a really good live racer. It beats Tempest. It's a nice overall car. I like it a lot, guys. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And hey, check out one of these other videos and this little message I have recorded for you. And I want to say thank you guys so much. You are all amazing. If you really want to help your favorite YouTube channels out, always hit that like button and subscribe to their channels, share their videos with your friends, and if you have the time, watch the videos till the end. YouTube pays attention to all those stats and those will really help your favorite YouTubers out. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.